sometime in the 1600s. Hey, Saturn, I have four moons. Are you jealous? No, responds Saturn to Jupiter. Oh, they only have one, but he looks nice. Cut to the 18th century. Helloings, Jupiter. Guess whatings. I'm now having seven moons. Are you into jealous? You what? Responds Jupiter. Wow, all the old four moons look so sad. This is into beans outrage. I declare an arms race. So here we are in the current standings in the 18th century. Jupiter only having four moons. Oh, but wait a second. They now have four new moons, bringing their total to eight. Now the year is 1938. Ha! I am backings on top. The moon race is now 11 for Jupiter and only nine for Saturn. Now is the year 1990. 17 total moons have been discovered for Jupiter, but now 18 for Saturn. Ha <laughs> You were into sayings? Now it's 2003. Okay, apparently Saturn is not playing around anymore. They were really mad. They have 64 moons now. Holy mother of soul. That's like double the amount of moons Saturn has. It's now 2019. The moon war is still going on. There's 80 for Jupiter and 82 for Saturn. Now in 2023, it's over, Saturn. I havings into the most moons. Ah, very well. I am into give up as 92 moons have been discovered for Jupiter and only 82 for Saturn. Finally, I can into restings for I am into king of moons. Excusing me, did someone into saying moon king? It is now May of 2023 and 146 moons have been discovered under Saturn because I am into believing the correct term is moon peasant for you. Is there really going to be any end in sight for this race? It's literally been going on for almost 400 years at this point. So this is referencing how there really kind of has been a moon race to see which planet is the king of the moons in our solar system. As telescopes have gotten better and better throughout history, we've been able to discover more and more objects surrounding the two biggest gas giants. What's surprising to me is we still don't have a definite champion. I mean, if we're still discovering objects that are orbiting these massive planets, I feel like it's fair to say this is going to take a while. Like, we might continue to discover these moons up until, like, humans actually start orbiting these planets ourselves. I like how there's literally a Death Star orbiting Saturn. I think that's the problem, though. Like, how small does a moon actually get? Like, can it be a pebble? Does that count as a moon? Now, technically, according to the NASA website, Jupiter is still in the lead with 95, but then it really comes down to how you define a moon, and I guess how small the object can really get. Some researchers are concluding that Jupiter has over 600 moons. Jupiter kind of already has a cool title, being the biggest planet in our solar system. Maybe they should just give this up to Saturn, but then again, Saturn probably is the most iconic with the rings. That's why this race is probably going to continue to go on. They're always just going to keep on trying to one-up each other. This arms race is so much more epic than the Cold War. Ooh, the annual meeting of clays with weird flags. I can already tell I'm going to love this. Thanks to you, every clays, for coming. Let's go ahead with the meeting. Who want to go first? Yes, who is one who decided we do meeting in damn sewer? I'll bet it was that greedy, money-grubbing, spaghetti-eating merchant republic. Look at how suspicious he's all looking, says the Ohio State flag. Yeah, he's not even flag shapings like the rest of us. Now you just, oh, wait a minute. Just because I have a bowl shape, I've heard enough of this. Massive chaos breaks out. You just imposter. I stick a spaghetti up your butt. You weird flag clay. Hey, all clays. Sorry I runs late. Meanwhile, I think the Nepal country ball has had their necks snapped. All of them turn to see who's off screen. Did I miss anything? Says this very sussy country ball. And to be fair, there is probably no country ball more sus than obviously this. This is the old flag of the Mamluk Sultanate. Obviously, when you turn it on its side, it's pretty obvious that we need to immediately call an emergency meeting. Unfortunately, this is a country ball flag that oftentimes does get forgotten. Obviously, the Mamluks here were taken over by the Ottomans. But man, did they have some unique looking icons. That is for sure. They're often drawn with teeth here. They just don't look very threatening or just not as threatening as the Nepal country ball. There's just a lot more sharp edges here. There's actually some other cameos that I've never seen before. We have Allied Occupied Germany after WW2. I thought this was like a weird Costa Rican flag or something. And also the flag of the Maratha Empire. I didn't know who that one was. This was an old nation inside of modern day India. I still think the head of the annual weird country balls needs to be Venice. They are obviously the most iconic just because of their weird octopus shape. I guess that's just what happens when you try to make a really, really unique looking flag that no one else has tried before. I am now casting my vote to forever draw the Mamlukian flag in the country ball universe as sus. We will never forget Among Us. Knight F4 to E6. Hon, hon, cavalry Francis advance. Meanwhile, Poland is the king and we have way 
fails as the rook. Rook a6 to e6. Oh no, the French knight has been smacked by uh, Vietnam ball and China ball. Vroom, vroom. Rook e1 to e6. But now Vietnam and China ball have been taken out by Thailand and Armenia ball. Bishop c8 to e6. Clank says Italy as they tried to stab this massive ship with the flag of Estonia for some reason. Wait, I'm not sure if that really did that much. Oh, wait a second. No, it did. It definitely did a lot of damage. You would realize just an Italy ball holding the flag of Estonia could be so powerful. So chess pieces in different languages obviously have different names. I should have known that, but I've never really made that connection. So in Chinese, they still have a king and a queen, but then the rook is a chariot. They also have an elephant, horse, and soldier. That kind of explains the random pairings that we saw here. I don't think I've ever seen Thailand and Armenia in a comic together like this. Same goes for Italy and Estonia. They're actually talking about the languages, Estonian and Italian. And in Italian, the bishop is considered a standard bearer. He's literally just a dude designated to hold the flag. Obviously, they're always the most threatening on the battlefield. Interestingly, both Thailand and Armenia have agreed to call the rook a ship, but that does bring interesting situations when Italian bishops or standard bearers uh, go up against these ships. Basically, it can be summarized pretty much just like this. This is actually a 4D chess level move right here. Great comic. <laughs> now I've got you. The crown jewel as the British pick up small India ball. Oh man, they literally look so evil right now. Creature, fetch me my crown. I, your majesty, responds Scotland. Here, sire, they say moments later. Why me? Uh, it hurts. Free me. Ah, a perfect fit as India goes right in the middle. Finally, the world belongings to me. <laughs> Very sexy, your majesty, Scotland says. Okay, dad, you've caught him. Now, will you set them free? No. I don't want to. Come on, dad. Set them free. I don't sell cars to colonists. Freaking bollocks. I love the depiction of them here. I've never seen a country ball look so evil before. I feel like almost the best part is the Igor equivalent that is Scotland. Wait a second. Is it Igor or Igor? That was kind of the role Scotland was forced to play there for a second. I love how this evil creature was somehow defeated just because uh, the US wouldn't sell cars to them. Sometimes it's really just that easy. Since the modern day nation of India, or basically back then British Raj was really referred to as the crown jewel. It's like a perfect metaphorical representation of what was actually going on. Felt like this was almost like a meat canyon video that I was watching. Ooh, GDP per capita 2023. And we actually have a really long way to go. Starting all the way down at the very, very bottom below 500. <laughs> Have you tasted the taste of turmoil, you dang sedan? Okay, a couple of African balls. Somalia is just glad they're not last. Yemen's having a tough time. Many Noisy says, I'm assuming that's Chad. I don't think Romania is this low on the list. Why North Korea at the bottom? This is definitely an imperialist conspiracy. Well, at least this ball here in the corner gets left off the list. Okay, now for everyone above 500, we've got Gambia, the Congo, Liberia, Syria, win can of war, and Uganda's right here on this red line that's above 1,000. Don't mock me! Of shut up, Nepal. <laughs> Ethiopia doesn't seem to be as sad as everybody else. Dumb. India grumbles, Pakistan. Although me of still have many monies, me of hope them do not make about joke it. Haiti seems to be also struggling. Okay, where is other Stan? Oh no, this Central Asian ball real low on the list. Big ol' India ball sitting right above 2,500. Some Indian music dancing noises going on in his head. Can this be of worse, says Sri Lanka. Okay, not surprised about that. How can me economy get more upper, asks Venezuela. I am no idea, responds Egypt. Of since nothing change, me of need to upper, says Philippines. Me used to up of there before, says Lebanon. A thick Iranian ball sitting on top of all these smaller ones. Ukraine obviously just saying bad things about Russia. Mongolia at 5,000. Why of Genghis Khan's power can't be of work? Indonesia can into succeeding European country one day. Don't show off, Guyana. No of need to. This is not halal. Colombia talking about maybe their number one export. Wish Armenia can be of quiet for a while. Wild, says Azerbaijan. Me of higher than that sub-Saharan guy's nice print. This is good, says Botswana. Maybe me of need to find of some way to revive tourism, says Thailand. Then there's thick old Brazil. Finally get to back this position just to listen to the complaint from someone upper of me. I wonder how long oil can keep me here. Serbia just complaining about all their many arch enemies. Cuba says, I. Turkey can be of strong again, right? As they look up. Kazakhstan cube seems to be pretty happy in their spot. Taco Taco says, 
says Mexico. At least this place cannot hear Singapore laugh at me, says Malaysia. Finally, we've reached the world average. Can you let me go up more higher? Then give me your World Cup. Nunca! Or never. While China sits above Argentina and Russia sits above them. Me have saw big giant confusing, says Bulgaria. Such of middle position. Panama is about to become am dividing crest again. Is this reference to how they're normally drawn with like a cut down the middle since the Panama Canal? Hola, says Chili Worm. Man, this country ball tower sure doesn't look stable with them. It's like a weird game of Jenga. Fortunately, there are no refugee here, says Hungary. Why is Polska so down far? Russia's gonna catch me. We're above 20,000. This country likes oil. Croatia says agreed. Want to know what other South American brothers are doing, says Uruguay. Welcome to the Mediterranean Sea, says Greece. So you have water. Oh, where potato flavor, says Portugal. Saudi Arabia with sometimes oil may not solving everything. How can of me meet Finland, cries Estonia. Spain, you have developed country. Why you look happy with low position, asks Czech Republic. But you're not that much higher, though. That's the thing. Okay. Japan is better than me, screams South Korea. Surround of natural gas and oil, but not have much of mine, says Taiwan. Watashi tried, says Japan. Spam, spam. Italy suggesting others get better food. Above 40,000. France is not happy. Oh, that's probably because the UK is right on top of them. The Great Britain defeat the uh, goal again. Long live the king. Not the queen, yeah. Always have to always stumble over that too sometimes. Oh, but New Zealand has them beat out. Arab brothers should be no, not only oil useful. Hello, says Germany to Hong Kong. Somebody talk to me. There's San Marino, Belgium, Finland, Sweden. <gasps> Gasps Austria. Why this is up hotter, says Greenland. Uh, higher up. 60,000. Finland is high up just because they don't want to drown from down below. Okay, there shouldn't be that damn spider in such a high place, says Australia. Right? I'm not getting why of little British in there. Wait, yeah, why is there? a little British in there. And above Iceland, we have big ol' USA. These nerds didn't place the great America first. This is BS. Not gonna reduce my military spending, though, of course. Now we're coming to some really rich nations per capita. Qatar, Singapore, Switzerland. Ooh, they gotta take that spike, though. Viking strong, says Norway. Hee hee, better than English scum, says Ireland. Of course, they're being poked, too, by Bermuda. Is of number one, says Luxembourg. Nope, because Liechtenstein is above them. And at first, I thought that was Poland. Now I realize this is actually Monaco. Uh, Poland cannot into top GDP in the world. Uh, the Vatican City also left off the list, but it's okay. They have treasures. This is according to the International Monetary Fund Ball. I think that's a ball at least. Okay, I don't really trust the stability of this whole thing, but um, I, I think they're gonna be maybe okay. It's weird because they put some pretty big balls right here in the middle. That, that probably helps a little bit. Of course, it's just these that are like handling the whole base situation. Remember that this is GDP per capita, so sometimes it does help to have less people in your country, which explains why there's a lot of micro nations that got in the top five. The U.S. has obviously a pretty strong economy, but once you average out all 300 million Americans, uh, they don't get in that top spot. Interesting that China as a whole has a pretty strong economy, but they're actually just barely above the world average once you take into consideration all of their people. I mean, they do have a large amount of people to account for, though. India clearly has a long way to go to catch up to China with also a billion people. You know, considering all the inflation Venezuela is going through, they're pretty high up on this list still. Lots of small references here with what the balls are saying. Obviously, our Armenia ball is going to get referenced by Azerbaijan ball. They kind of don't really like each other as of lately. Like how we also had overseas territories included. We had Puerto Rico. Obviously, there was Bermuda up top. The Virgin Islands right here. That's also why we had Greenland and Denmark separated. Interestingly, they're pretty close to each other. And the Isle of Man is ranked pretty high as well. A lot of islands with a whole lot of money. Also, keep in mind, this is not with every single country. But man, is it close. This is insane. Also, this little Great Britain is apparently the Channel Islands. It just gets more and more beautiful every time I look at it. Ten out of 10. You are not being unreal country to exist, huh? I am a real country. Swine! Non real country to exist is of history. Civil war, being good, being evil, good, crusade. Going crusade, whatever. I will do these things. Speed run. Have civil war. Howdy. Be hero. Weird German noises and Japan says, I will become a taku now. Be a villain as they... Vietnam. Have a crusade in the Holy Lands. Okay, they just went through that. I did all that dumb things like you said. Now I'm real country, right? And how about healthcare? <laughs> It just never ends. USA can never become a real country. At least definitely not in the eyes of France, which ironically enough, France kind of gave us our independence. They were big helps during the American Revolution. Interesting that the US is always trying to impress France, though. Maybe that's the reason why. You would think they wouldn't care, but they clearly do. They want to impress France more than they want to impress their dad, the UK. If you think about it, the US really has just speedrun this whole thing. Pretty much did all of that in the last, like, 150 years. And big thanks to the patrons. I am the kidnapper. I oofed Drew since no one paid his ransom. This channel's now no run by AI. 
Dominic Negro. Australia is Zane real. Drones, I'm not Argentina. a Argentina. No. Twenty Mod great powers is a lot to learn. Asher, Bright Fat, Norwester, Kieran, Tiny, Garvey, the Nard, Inquisitor, Trader, Isaiah, John, Dexter, Fox, and Ben, the Pope, 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 the P